In a recent development, Selena Gomez has found herself at the center of attention due to her ex-boyfriend, The Weeknd, and his new television show, The Idol. Reports have emerged claiming that Selena is experiencing a wave of emotions in response to The Weeknd's alleged exploitation of her personal struggles within the narrative of his show. This revelation has left Selena visibly upset as she grapples with the notion that her private battles are being used for public entertainment. But now, Selena Gomez is apparently reacting to her ex-boyfriend, The Weeknd, and his new show, The Idol. A lot of Jocelyn is, is definitely inspired by um, my experiences um, and experiences that, uh, of, of other artists um, that I've witnessed, male, female. The weekend's HBO series, The Idol, which stars Lily Rose Depp, recently premiered at cons, but it's receiving negative reviews from both fans and movie critics who are deeming it sleazy and disturbing. An episode ends with The Weeknd's character choking Lily's character. What's even more troubling is the emerging reports suggesting that The Weeknd drew inspiration from his past relationship with Selena Gomez and incorporated elements of her struggles with fame and addiction into his show. This isn't the first time The Weeknd has seemingly thrown shade at Selena, and fans are now accusing him of being toxic. So how exactly did The Weeknd's show draw inspiration from Selena? And how did Selena react to her personal struggles being used in his project? Let's dive right in and find out. I think I, you know, initially wanted to make um, like a, a dark, twisted fairy tale with the music industry and everything I know about it. The weekend's controversial new show, The Idol, generated quite a buzz long before its release. Rolling Stone published a detailed report shedding light on a toxic work environment behind the scenes. The show was co-created by The Weeknd and the controversial director of Euphoria, Sam Levinson. However, according to Rolling Stone, the original director, Amy Simitz, abruptly departed when the show was around 80% complete. The article suggested that The Weeknd played a role in Amy's departure, as he felt the show had an excessive female perspective. A former crew member shared with Rolling Stone that once Sam Levinson took over, the show transformed into a fantasy that catered to toxic masculinity. The Idol premiered at the Cannes Film Festival on May 22nd, and to the dismay of movie critics, it turned out to be even worse than anticipated. Renowned critic Robert Daniels from Rotten Tomatoes described the show as crude, gross, and biased. Meanwhile, The Telegraph remarked that The Idol contains the year's most dreadful line of dialogue. Fans on social media were equally appalled by The Idol, and they didn't hold back in criticizing both The Weeknd and Sam Levinson, labeling them as weirdos. One fan who watched the first episode shared unsettling scenes, revealing that Lily is shown without clothes while shooting her album cover. When an intimacy coordinator attempted to intervene, her managers allegedly locked him in a bathroom and continued the shoot. The fan also disclosed that the episode concludes with The Weeknd choking Lily and performing a sexual act on her in an attempt to provide inspiration for her dissatisfying single. If you thought things couldn't get any more unsettling, recent reports have surfaced suggesting that The Weeknd drew inspiration from his relationship with Selena Gomez for certain scenes in The Idol, even utilizing some of the personal experiences Selena shared with him in confidence during their time together. The character Jocelyn is wearing a bracelet from her recent hospitalization. And her management shrugs it off and says mental illness is sexy. And I don't know, that, that sounds real familiar to me. A viral clip from Cons showed The Weeknd discussing the idol, and at one point, he openly admitted that Lily Rose's character, Jocelyn, was inspired by things he witnessed or heard firsthand. A lot of Jocelyn is, is definitely inspired by um, my experiences um, and experiences that, uh, of, of other artists um, that I've witnessed, male, female. However, this clip is not the only reason why fans are accusing The Weeknd of exploiting Selena's struggles. There are also striking similarities between Jocelyn's storyline in The Idol and Selena's real-life experiences, particularly during the period from mid-2016 to late 2017. The Idol kicks off with Jocelyn being compelled to cancel her tour and dealing with fears of losing popularity. Afterwards, she makes a comeback with a considerably more provocative public image, accompanied by her new boyfriend, Tedros, portrayed by The Weeknd, who plays the role of a self-help guru and cult leader. Fans believe that this particular aspect of the show was inspired by Selena, because in the summer of 2016, she abruptly canceled her Revival World Tour and decided to take a hiatus from the public eye. During that time, rumors circulated about Selena facing substance-related issues as she entered rehab in October 2016. 
However, Selena's team denied these allegations, stating that her rehab stint had nothing to do with alcohol or substance use, but rather was a result of burnout. Nevertheless, the rumors about substance use persisted, partly fueled by a video that emerged showing Selena and her then-boyfriend Justin Bieber seemingly attempting to buy drugs in a shady area of Los Angeles. I just seen Bieber. Leave it to Bieber. That's crazy. That's Justin Bieber for you guys. He's in Hollywood. The worst, the worst part of it too. That's really Bieber! The parallels between Jocelyn's journey in The Idol and Selena's real life experiences have caused fans to question The Weeknd's intentions and whether he crossed the line by utilizing Selena's struggles for his show. Stay tuned to discover how Selena reacted to this portrayal and the aftermath of The Weeknd's use of her personal experiences in The Idol. In addition to the other similarities between Selena and Jocelyn, there is another striking parallel. In the first episode of The Idol, Jocelyn expresses feeling pressured to portray a more sexualized image in order to maintain her career. Similarly, Selena confessed in her 2022 documentary, My Mind and Me, that around the time she canceled her revival tour in 2016, she started worrying about being perceived solely as a Disney star. In the documentary, Selena is seen expressing her desire not to disappoint Interscope CEO John Janik, stating, I don't want him to think he signed some fucking Disney kid. Following her time in rehab, Selena made a comeback at the 2016 American Music Awards. Just a few months later, she began dating The Weeknd, mirroring Jocelyn's storyline in The Idol, where she starts dating Pedro's after her own comeback. However, there's more to it. As mentioned earlier, the first episode of The Idol depicts Jocelyn shooting a nude album cover, reportedly inspired by Selena's cover art for her album Revival. In The Idol, Jocelyn's intimacy coordinator tries to halt the shoot because the cover wasn't approved by Jocelyn. Interestingly, Selena herself hinted in an interview that the cover of Revival wasn't exactly what she wanted, and she felt ashamed for having done it. Um, yeah. I actually did an album cover, and um, I was... Moreover, in an interview with Allure, Selena openly admitted that she faced pressure to create a provocative album cover. She revealed that there was a push for her to appear more mature in her music videos and wear revealing outfits. Selena further explained that there was pressure to showcase more adult themes on her album Revival. The numerous parallels between Selena's real-life experiences and Jocelyn's narrative in The Idol have left fans convinced that The Weeknd drew significant inspiration from Selena's life for his show. This connection raises concerns among viewers, particularly due to the show's disturbing and objectifying approach. Consequently, fans are speculating that The Weeknd may still hold feelings of anger and resentment towards Selena. An important aspect to consider is the weekend song, Call Out My Name, where he explicitly calls out Selena, accusing her of utilizing him as a temporary replacement until she made a decision about her relationship with Justin Bieber. The lyrics contain the line, I almost cut a piece of myself for your life, which many interpreted as the weekend implying that he was willing to undergo kidney donation for Selena during her battle with lupus. However, Selena's team later refuted these claims, and a source close to her revealed to ET that The Weeknd used that particular line for publicity purposes. The source also emphasized that Selena never contemplated asking The Weeknd to undergo testing as a potential kidney donor. This lyrical controversy, combined with The Weeknd's apparent use of Selena's personal struggles for attention, adds to the speculation surrounding their relationship. Fans and observers are left questioning the motives behind The Weeknd's portrayal of Selena's experiences in The Idol and whether it stems from unresolved resentment or an attempt to gain further attention. The intertwining of their real-life dynamics with the fictional narrative blurs the lines between art and exploitation, leaving fans concerned about Selena's mental well-being. The evident exploitation of Selena's struggles by The Weeknd, coupled with the controversial lyrical content, has intensified the existing tension between the two. Naturally, one might wonder how Selena feels about being once again subjected to this exploitation for the sake of his show. According to sources close to her, Selena is not only disappointed but also deeply disgusted by everything she has learned about the idol. Consequently, she has firmly decided against watching a show that objectifies and degrades its main female character, echoing her own experiences. Selena's devoted fans who have been closely following her journey are expressing their strong disapproval of The Weeknd's actions. They are actively criticizing him for his unsettling behavior and for attempting to manipulate and distort Selena's personal story for his own gain. One fan passionately emphasized that it is not The Weeknd's place to tell Selena's story, and that it should instead be portrayed from the perspective of women with a female writer and director who can truly understand and respect the nuances of her experiences. Another fan expressed relief that Selena ended her relationship with The Weeknd when she did, 
questioning the integrity and direction of the idol in light of these controversies. Now we would like to invite you to share your thoughts on this matter. Do you believe that The Weeknd is exploiting Selena's story in his new show? We value your perspective, so please take a moment to share your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to stay tuned for our upcoming video.